mentioned about stroke trials in particular, there's actually been a couple of different studies. Um, and one uh, of the platforms that I talk about um, is the MASTERS clinical trials uh, that are currently ongoing, testing a, a specific bone marrow-derived adherent stem cell called multi-stem uh, that's manufactured uh, by Athrasis. I mentioned this trial because it's really leading uh, the field uh, right now for phase three randomized clinical trials testing efficacy, pivotal efficacy trials, phase three. This is built on a body of work of more than 10 years of preclinical animal studies. Um, and so the, the, the initial trials that have been done, you know, suggest the possibility that there may be uh, a, a window uh, to administer these cells that potentially could have an effect to improve recovery. Um, and there's clear data already. It, it shows that these uh, multi-stem cells actually reduce the inflammatory response after stroke in a favorable way. And so uh, we're really intrigued, obviously, to see uh, the uh, enrollment and completion of these phase three trials that build off the uh, initial study that I'm talking about. I also speak about multiple sclerosis. Some very interesting data has come out of Israel, um, you know, showing the possibility that uh, marrow stromal cells uh, might be able to uh, reduce uh, the progression of disease uh, in patients with multiple sclerosis. Uh, that's really intriguing. Um, and uh, I hope that they'll be moving forward to uh, a pivotal efficacy phase three trial uh, overall. And I also mentioned that in patients with uh, chronic traumatic brain injury, there's a new clinical trial, randomized sham controlled, that an intracerebral injection of modified, gene modified marrow stromal cells might actually improve the outcome of the impaired arm in patients with traumatic brain injury. So this is really intriguing and very promising, you know, that uh, there may be hope in the future that patients who um, are many years out after a brain injury, uh, that there may be new possibilities here uh, with uh, cell-based therapies that could help them in the future.